We started out of a Sunday night session where we were just a group of people turning up and playing anything. Uh, the pub where we had at the time, the Atlantic Bar and Dunlow, there were musical instruments hanging around the wall. And, mm -hmm. and any, anyone who came in fancied a go, had a go. They were quite welcome. And the same guys kept turning up all the time. And we had a guest one night, uh, Ronan McAwee from... from uh, T.G. Cahar, and he was doing a program called Skyla Mahan Bubbling, and he says, will you come on and do do a couple of tunes? So we said we would, but we wouldn't do covers. Mm -hmm. We'd put a few songs together, yeah. and one of those songs was Las Vegas in the Hills of Donegal, and mm -hmm. uh, it just caught fire. Mm -hmm. uh, and the next thing we knew, we were had Gay Byrne on the phone looking for us mm -hmm. to do the Late Late, and just went on and on yeah. at the end. That's basically how it all started yeah. many years ago. Can you tell me when you mentioned there Las Vegas and Hills and Eagle? Now, that's proved, it's proven even to this day, a very inspirational song for Donegal people all around the world. I can even remember when Jim McGuinness um, and Donegal won the All Ireland for the second time in their history in 2012. That song was played on the team bus a lot, even in the lead up to the final. It's a it's a song that means a lot to a lot of people. Can you what's your memory, Pat, of the, the first times you jotted down the the words to that song, and how long did it take you to write in general? I don't know. It's it's an idea I had. Uh, it's just an idea that I had at, at the time. Uh, the writing itself, I think, it took about an hour. An hour. Yeah. An hour. Yeah, it was just flew. You yeah. know, it just it just poured out. Um, the idea just came from a comment a guy was making uh, one night, and uh, he was talking about other things, but I sort of honed it down a little bit. And the idea was like that we're we're basically cut off from we don't get a fair lick from from Dublin, from the south of Ireland or the north. Like, uh, well, we can't expect too much there anyway because of the way the borders are, but. I suppose we, my idea was to almost do a Brexit on it, mm -hmm. or like not alone leave your, your yeah. leave Ireland yes. uh, totally. I suppose what would you call it? Bogsit. Yes, Bogsit. <laughs> yes, that, that's a new term, but it's certainly good, we could catch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So that, that that like our own independence, and uh, that probably struck a chord with a lot of people in Donegal because. A lot of people in Donegal feel that way, mm. that we don't get mm -hmm. the, the, our fair share of stuff. 